Hi, let's continue the example E. We have given this a function y equals to x square root of x minus x square square root of x. Now I want to use a power rule to differentiate this. Before I start to differentiate, again I will write the, uh, the function into the, this form. This means a uh, power uh, square root means uh, x power of 1 over 2. And I have my x square multiplied by x power of 1 over 2. We simplify it first before we start to differentiate. So this is a uh, when the, you have a, a x, this is the power of 1. The base, uh, you have the same base. The power can be added up to become 3 over 2. And uh, the same thing for the second term. You have a x squared multiplied by x power of 1 over 2. Means that you are taking the 2 plus 1 over 2, you got 5 over 2. So after you have simplified the function, it's easier for me to differentiate the y function. That is, I'm applying the power rule. Bring the 3 over 2 to the front. And the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 means a minus 2 over 2. You get a uh, 1 over 2. Minus negative 5 over 2 bring to the front. And the power of 5 over 2 minus 1 meaning that 5 over 2 minus 2 over 2. You get negative, uh, so, sorry, 3 over 2. So you can now simplify your answer. This means that the power of 1 over 2 means uh, it's the square root of x. And uh, this uh, x power of uh, 3 over 2 means you can write in this form. Square root of x power of 3. So this is the answer for the uh, example E. And, and for the example x, again, write the question. Square root of x over x power of 2 means that you are taking the x power of 1 over 2 minus 2. Plus, x power of 2 divided by x uh, square root of uh, x, you have your x square minus, because uh, this is the x power of 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2. So simplify it. You get a, a negative 3 over 2 plus 2, 2 minus 1 over 2, you get a 3 over 2. Alright, so now you can start to differentiate. That is your dy dx equals to negative 3 over 2, bring to the front. And the power of negative 3 over 2 minus 1, you get um, uh, negative 3 over 2 mi minus 2 over 2, you get negative 5 over 2. Plus 3 over 2, bring to the front. And the 3 over 2 minus 1, you get a uh, 1 over 2. So simplify your answer. You have your negative 3 over 2 square root of x power of 5. Alright? Plus 3 over 2 square root of x. Okay? So now we proceed to the next example. Find the derivative of each of the following using the sum and difference rule. So uh, for this question, A, you need to expand it first. If you don't want if you don't want to expand it, you are going to apply the power rule. Okay, so uh, let's start. I have my a as a y equals to x plus 1 square. Alright, and uh, if you want to use a, uh, you want to expand it, maybe it, it will be easier for you. You expand it first. You get your x square plus 2x plus 1. Now we find a dy dx. Differentiate x square, you got 2x. Differentiate 2x, you get 2. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to factor out the x. So this is your final answer. Look at the question B. y equals to x power of negative 2, 1 plus x. So for this question, I would like to um, rewrite, um, expand first. Yeah. Trying to expand it first and simplify, then I will start to differentiate. x power of negative 1 over 2 multiplied by 1, you get x power of negative 2. Plus, x power of negative 2 multiplied by uh, x. Okay, you can write in this form and then you simplify. Okay, so you, again, you, again, you see this, uh, uh, this still having the same base. So the power can be added up because uh, this is a power of 1. Negative 2 plus 1, you get negative 1. Then now we can start to differentiate. Differentiate x power of negative 2, 
bring the negative 2 to the front. And the power of negative 2 minus 1, you get negative 3. Plus, bring the negative 1 over. And you have a, a power negative 1 minus 1, you get negative 2. Then uh, you simplify it. You get negative 2 over x power of 3 minus 1 over x squared. Alright, this is a question B. And uh, question C, example C. Before we start to differentiate, we write this and expand this first. To x cube multiply by x, you get a 2x power of 4. To x cube multiply by negative 5, you get negative 10x cube plus x minus 5. After you have rewrite in this form, then easier for you to differentiate. So find the dy dx term by term, differentiate term by term. Uh, the, for the first term, you get the 8x power of 3. And uh, second term, bring the 3 over, you get negative 30, x power of 2. And uh, differentiate x, you get 1. Differentiate negative 5, you get a 0. So this is your answer for the dy dx. For the example D, we still need to expand it before we start to differentiate. So uh, expand x squared multiplied by x, you get x cubed. x squared multiplied by 1 over x, you get x. Minus 2x multiplied by x, you get negative 2x squared. And negative 2x multiplied by negative 1 over x, you get positive uh, 2. Alright, let me check. Uh, yes. So after that, you got your dy dx. Differentiate piece by piece, okay? Differentiate the x cube, you got 3x squared. And uh, differentiate negative x, you got 1. Differentiate the negative 2x squared, you get a negative 4x. Again, differentiate constant, you get 0. So you just leave your answer like that. For the example e, again, I would like to expand first before I start to differentiate. Expand 4, my, 4 over x multiplied by x, you got 4. 4 over x multiplied by negative 1 over x squared, you got negative 4 over x cubed. And negative x multiplied by x, you got negative x squared. Negative x multiplied by negative, you got positive. Negative x multiplied by 1 over x squared, 1 x can be cancelled off, you got the 1 over x. Alright, so now we start to, uh, before I start, again, I will write, rewrite this in this the 4 over x cubed into the form of 4x negative 3. 4x power of negative 3. And the 1 over x uh, be written into the form of x power of negative 1. Okay, so this is 4 minus 4x power of negative 3 minus x squared plus x power of negative 1. So uh, now we can start to differentiate. dy dx, differentiate constant 0, differentiate this. Bring the negative 3 over, multiply by negative 4, you get 12. 12x 12 power of negative 4 because the power of negative 3 minus 1. And the 2 bring over, you get negative 2. x power of 2 minus 1, you get 1. And this negative 1 bring over, you get negative 1. And uh, you get a negative x power of negative 2. Alright, simplify your answer. You get 12 over x power of 4 minus 2x minus 1 over x squared. So proceed to this example. For this example, I'm not going to use a quotient rule because some people will see that this is a, a u and this as a v. Now they, uh, they, they might apply the quotient rule since this question asking us to use the sum and difference rule. So we know that it might be a need to simplify, rewrite the question into this form, meaning that we will separate it into two terms. Okay, after that, Simplify first, you got t over 2 for the first term. And the second term, you got 1 over 2. Alright, so differentiate s with respect to t. Because that this is a function, the name of the function as x. And the variable will be t. So we differentiate s with respect to t. Differentiate t over 2, we got a 1 over 2. Alright, differentiate a constant will be 0. So your answer would just 1 over 2. So the same thing for this question, you will just uh, rewrite this, uh, split it into two terms. That will be z cube over square root of z minus z over square root of z. And then simplify it first. 
means that uh, for the first term, you might have a power of 3 minus 1 over 2 because uh, square root means that uh, having the power of 1 over 2. Since uh, this is divide, divided by the square root of z, the power might be deducted. All right, minus z, this one is power of 1 minus 1 over 2. And uh, trying to simplify it, z power of 3 minus 1 over 2, you get a 5 over 2, power of 5 over 2. And uh, this one, you have a 1 over 2. So now we can differentiate, find the derivative. Apply the power rule, you have, might bring the 5 over 2 to the front. And the power 5 over 2 minus 1, you will have a 5 over 2 minus 2 over 2, you get a 3 over 2. Minus, bring the 1 over 2 to the front. And the power 1 over 2 minus 1, you get negative 1 over 2. Okay? So you can have your uh, simplification. You have your z power of a 3 square root. Okay, the over 2 means it's a square root. And uh, 1 over 2 square root of z. Alright, because of power of negative means that this has, the square root of z has to be as your denominator. Okay, so now we move to the last example. For this question, I'm not going to apply the quotient rule as well. I would just uh, rewrite them into three separate terms. Okay, separate terms. That is uh, x cubed divided by x squared, the first term. Second term is a uh, negative 2x squared divided by the x squared. And the third term is 7x divided by x squared. Okay, so simplify it. You get x power of 1 for the first term. Second term, you have your 2, negative 2. And the last term is a uh, 7 over x. All right. So 7 over x, you might write it in the form of a 7x power of negative 1. Alright, get your dy dx. dy dx, we will differentiate terms by terms. Okay, uh, differentiate x with respect to x, you get 1. Differentiate a constant with respect to x, you get 0. Differentiate a 7x power of negative 1, you will bring a negative 1 over here. Multiply by 7, you get negative 7. And the power of negative 1 minus 1, you get negative 2. Okay, so you already got the answer, just need to simplify. That is a 1 minus 7 over x squared. Alright, so thank you for watching my video.